Sailing Catalpa. We sail through the hole in the wall, have some hot days sailing, and arrive in Darwin. So, it is the 18th of October, which is a pretty special day. 11 years ago, this beautiful girl came into our lives. Hello, birthday girl. Where are we? Uh, we are in a very nice house in Darwin or a unit. This is our view. We are so lucky we've got to stay in this beautiful place. Um, Dad and Shawnee are coming to stay with us for five days. So we're going to have five days in Darwin and we get to hang out with them. We get to sleep in this massive big bed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Get a bird. We get a bird. So we haven't done anything really fun yet. We really got some presents this morning, but we got went to the. And these. Woo! And so we went to the Indonesian consulate, but we realised we had to fill out way more forms, do way that more. That wasn't fun, but it will be fun when we get to go into Indonesia. Yeah, so we're gonna do more paperwork, and we'll hopefully we'll go back tomorrow morning and have it all sorted. But until then, it's birthday day. So we've got to go and have some fun. We're all hungry. But all, more importantly, we've got to go get a last, some stuff off the boat so we can come stay here. Does it feel uh, different being 11? It's my birthday. You're growing into a young, beautiful woman and we're just so very proud of you. <laughs> Do this bell already. <laughs> still Bella's birthday so and we're about to go for a swim in the pool Dad and Shawnee arrived just in time to go out to dinner with the birthday girl and have some cake. What's going on over here? The birthday cake. Bella's birthday cake was ice cream. It was just a tub of ice cream with M&M's flake all mushed up together, put in a bowl, put in the freezer and then tipped upside down. Woola! Ice cream cake. Happy birthday. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, guys, it's actually going to work. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bella. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. 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 H
Love you, birthday girl. We hope your birthday was as special as you are. Let's see what else we got up to while we're in Darwin. It's so hot, the water. <laughs> it's like not cooling. <laughs> After having fun in the wave pool, we found an Irish pub for lunch. Lee and Grandad's favourite drink is Guinness. So they were pretty stoked to have Guinness on tap. And I don't mind it too. Cheers, Grandad. <laughs> Beautiful day, <laughs> beautiful night markets here, you know. The rainy better. season has started. <laughs> I think we've got to get to end up. Today we check out the Crocodilius Crocodile Park. Oh, the other one's a bit milky. milky. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's it, it might be blonde. I don't think that's real. No, no that's one. real. That it just moved its mouth. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm going to be your tour guide for today. What we're going to do, we're going to feed some of these big fellas up in the breeding pens behind me. Up here, these are all sort of little crocodiles. And I saw what a crocodile are the largest. Most widespread, most aggressive species of crocodilian in the world. They're found all throughout northern Australia, up in northern Queensland, northwestern Australia, and of course, right here in the top end of the Northern Territory. They're also found throughout most of Southeast Asia, as far north as even southern India. Now, uh, there are two crocodiles in the vast majority of these enclosures, but I know in some of them, often you can't even see one. And I can see both crocodiles in here, but they're still quite well hidden under the water. And this one has the clearest water out of any of these enclosures. So there's one right there, and oh. one right there. Oh, oh. oh that's a big one. <laughs> so saltwater crocodiles are incredibly good at hiding. So I'll feed her first. Uh, in fact, even a saltwater crocodile that's five meters long and weighs over half a ton doesn't even need water up to my knee to be completely invisible. These guys are ambush predators. They rely on being hidden and their prey not knowing that the crocodile is there to be able to catch their prey. Do you want to do it together? Yes. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to splash that bit of meat in the water right next to his head. Oh, oh, you caught a big one. <laughs> yeah, you can see how they get. Sweat dripping down my back, all the way down the back of my legs. It's delicious. 
<laughs> You're real cute, aren't you? He gave some food to me, so he whoop, he, and he passed it to Aww, me. Aw, are you sharing? You're a sharer. Hello. You're so cute. What no, I was having a conversation with him. What are you eating? Grapes. Grapes. <laughs> oh, you smiled! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, thanks. What you got now? What you got? Oh, oh thank you! you. <laughs> He's like, oh. what else can you throw at us? Don't throw poop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you dropped him. This guy's like a little comedy one. He's your friend, hey? Yep. Let's I had a con. Let's I had take him on the boat. Yeah. He'd be a good boat monkey. Yeah. You want to come sailing, mate? <laughs> Oh, is he gonna pass it to us? Did you see? Thank you. Thank you. Look, he smiled. He's like, he's like, free me, please. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo! laughs> it smiles. He's like, ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh, there you are. Good cotton top one again. Look at his spiky head up there. You like that? You don't like it? You're going to throw that, aren't you? Is that anyone watching? I'm going to throw it. Hang on. Anyone watching? I'm going to throw it. You ready to catch it? Oh, he, he just looked around to see if there was anybody there and he just threw it down. You are a crack up. You are so funny. You like that bit? Care. Nah. <laughs> Why do they keep giving me celery? <laughs> Hey, it was fun playing with you, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, mate. Bye-bye. Bye. We wish you could take her on the boat. Alright, so Tash had some good news today. Uh, What happened? My computer's all working good again. What happened to your computer? I put a magnet on it and it got wiped. And he killed it. <laughs> so luckily, lucky he has got a clever granddad because he put a hard, new hard drive in there and got it working. <laughs> lucky boy. Visiting the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory. This is Sweetheart. She was a 5.1 metre saltwater crocodile who liked to attack outboard motors. In the attempt to relocate Sweetheart, she was captured, but unfortunately was accidentally drowned while trying to relocate her. Here at the museum, you can see her and hear her story. There was lots of interesting things at the museum, including the art gallery. Oh, is that the year again in the box? Yeah, stay away from that critter. That's a box fella. What is jelly? Does it touch? But when we got to the part about Cyclone Tracy, Lee and I got a little bit nervous. It was definitely time to leave the Northern Territory after seeing the devastation that Cyclone Tracy caused in December on Christmas Eve in 1974. <laughs> There was lots of interesting Indonesian fishing boats. Taz, just put your head down there, a little bit further down. Yeah, I see the resemblance, eh? We enjoyed our visit, it was well worth a look. <laughs> Berry Springs Nature Park is about 60 kilometres out of Darwin and a beautiful place to cool off.
We did, we've had such a great time. Uh, we So it's Tuesday morning and we're in Darwin. We've had a little bit of a holiday with uh, my dad and Shani. We stayed in this beautiful house together. And uh, this morning they had to leave and go to the airport and fly home. And then we are back on the boat and our countdown for leaving Australia really begins. So we're We've done our visas. We went to the Indonesian embassy last week um, and applied, put our application in for our visas and we have to pick up our passports and our visas on Friday. So it's Tuesday. And um, so we'll do that. We've got a few things. Thank you. A few things to do. We've got to try and put the boat on some poles which are down near where our boat's anchored in Fanny Bay. So they're like drying out poles, we haven't done it before but um, you just tie up to the poles and then the tide goes out and then you can work on the bottom of your boat. So we're hoping that's an easy process because Lee wants to put in a new transducer because our sounder at the moment doesn't show up our depth 100% so it keeps dropping in and out. Um, because our transducer at the moment is sitting inside the hull so it doesn't work as good as it could. So we've got a new transducer and we're going to try and put it. Um, if we can on the outside, we're hoping to do that tomorrow if possible. We're just waiting on our sat phone to arrive. Yeah, a few things but we're hoping that we've got some winds by the weekend or the winds the right way by the weekend. We've kind of really hit the change of the season. So and you get the rainy season and the dry season and the dry season is when you want to go to Indonesia. So it's the right winds. Um, so you follow the trade winds and we've that last till November and it's like the last week of October. So the change of seasons is actually happening. There's not much wind at all at the moment. Um, so we've, we've kind of got to go when we get the chance. We've had a car, which is amazing. So we got heaps of things that we needed to get. And we've got our, we put our sail in to be repaired. Um, we rang him yesterday and either today or tomorrow will be ready hopefully. No, we've had a really nice five days with my dad and Johnny and being spoiled and sleeping and conditioning and <laughs> eating out at nice restaurants. So we've had a really good time. And um, just want to say a big thank you and we love you. And we'll miss you. Really excited to go to Indonesia and leave Australia, but we're also at the same time really nervous. We don't haven't done it before on a boat and there's just a lot of protocol and a lot of things to kind of look into before we leave, but I think we're on track. I think pretty much we've just got to contact border control or customs or the guys that we just check out on. Um, once our visas come through, we just send an email to... I have the email, but I don't know what it's called. And then we um, do all the paperwork with them and we're good to go. So it's very exciting, but it's a bit nerve wracking. This week is going to be, or these next few days, I think will be a little bit intense. Not the camping kind, but intense kind. Anyway, I'm babbling. So we've accumulated a few things. 
This is all going to go back out into our boat. This is all going back out into the boat. Oh man, it's going to be a fun tender ride. Where are the kids? Hey babies. You guys ready to head back out to the boat? What do you mean it's going to be a fun tender ride? We've got a lot of gear. So this is going to be interesting. Full tender. Luckily the weather has calmed down and there's not too many waves to tackle with to get in the water. The Catalpa's right out the back there. Full tender. We'll leave the kids on the shore and come back for them. Near the water and then we'll wait for when it's a flat spot and then we'll push it in. Right. Um, we'll do this. So we got in the water and we all were dry. We didn't even get water in the tender. How good was that? We made it. It was a long day. It was a long day. Oh, can't be it. You deserve it. It's not frozen, it's that cold. So what are we doing tomorrow? Going onto some poles. Can't think of the name, what they call them. Drying uh, out poles. I've forgotten what they're called, but never done it before. So hopefully the conditions are nice and glassy in the morning. Better than this. And we can mosey on over and hopefully dry out and stay vertical. <laughs> what happens if we just start falling over? Fall over. I think we'll be right, we'll tie back. But this will be interesting anyway. As long as we get the hole drilled and then it all goes to plan after that, otherwise the tide comes in, we've got a hole in the boat. We'll get it. We'll make it work. Yeah. So we're just heading in on Fanny Bay to tie up to the Corinne. Careening poles. Careening poles. We've got Bella in the tender. Um, I'm just, we're not sure what's going to happen over here, so Bella can help manoeuvre the boat. So join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as we attempt to tie up to the careening poles. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Oh. It all comes all thanks to you all All thanks to y'all